Imagine this. You get home after a long day. You know, you went to the gym. You went to work. You ran some errands. You're a little tired. And all you want to do is lay down, relax with some YouTube shorts. And then you get jump scared by your own face in a David Goggins edit. This is what happened to me yesterday. I've been sent multiple David Goggins edits that I'm in by my friends. And um, I don't know what happened. I made a video about him like a year ago. And all of a sudden, the David Goggins meat munchers are all making edits where I'm the bad guy. Um, so today, I'm going to be looking at some of those, reading some comments and reacting, giving my defense. Because they, they are not happy with me. But yeah, let's get right into it. So just for context, uh, in my video about David, I basically said in a nutshell, um, he's a cool guy, inspirational story, but his advice is just not really good for the general public, and he's also kind of just corny and cringe in general. But let's see what the TikTok edits have to say about me. So here we go. I'm protesting David Goggins. F. David Goggins. Who is this guy? David Goggins. Every ultra Who is this guy? Get to me. Motivational hustle porn addicts. What's favorite porn man? Yeah. Ha ha! <laughs> Look at that handsome guy. He needs a haircut though. Good looking guy though. Definitely has a huge never mind. speeches are cringe. Facts. Not good. true. Merry Christmas, <laughs> motherfucker. And it's just him being crazy. Avoid these delusional. Take their souls. Great guy and a big inspiration. Okay. So let's break this down. First off, let me just say, uh, the, the first and second dude, I have no idea who these people are. I'm not advocating for whatever they're saying. Don't know their message. Don't know their whatever. Let's focus on what's really important here. Me. This whole thing, all of this, it's all about me. Um, so let's read these captions here. Uh, these delusional clowns will say anything to get views. Actually, no. I went into making that video knowing it wasn't going to do that well. Um, but I decided it was kind of important to me, so I made it anyway. Uh, secondly, these guys are the definition of sheeps. I don't really know. I wouldn't consider myself a sheep. I kind of just say what's on my mind, and I feel like that's kind of the opposite of a sheep. But sure, sure, sure. Bro lives in their heads rent-free. Not once in my life have I lost sleep over the idea of get David Goggins doing more push-ups than me. Uh, but sure, good good, good take. Um, avoid, avoid these delusional, I'm always right clowns. Uh, I am always right. That's not me being, uh, you know, an asshole. That's just true. I am always right. Um, and, and then take their goddamn souls by being better than them. Um, this is the general problem with uh, David Goggins' whole his whole mantra, his whole ideology is that people overdo it. Take their goddamn souls is horrible advice. Take their goddamn soul. You're, you're overdoing it. All I said was that he's cringe and then he's like, take their goddamn soul. Calm down. This is the whole thing. He overdoes it. And then lastly, Goggins is a great guy and a big inspiration to all of us. I never said he wasn't a great guy and I ever said he wasn't an inspiration. All I said was his advice sucks and he's a wee bit corny. Um, so yeah, all, this entire edit is just, just, it's just creating arguments out of nowhere. It's really not addressing anything. It's just kind of making an edit for the sake of an edit. But maybe the second edit will be better. So let's move on to that. Here we go. I personally don't get motivated when another grown man uh, this guy again. Who is this guy? Can someone tell me? So here's the issue with this one is it was me making fun of him for being corny and goofy and it immediately cuts to a clip of him being corny and goofy. What are you trying to prove wrong? You simply just proved me right. See, Here's the issue. It's him being like, You don't know me, son! You don't know me! And it's supposed to be some sort of great inspirational video. But listen, I, I, I am no stranger to the bench press. It was what made me fall in love with the gym in the first place. My bench has gone from like 130 to 260 in two years. And um, not at any point was I like, Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? You don't know me, son! You don't know me! 
No, I literally, I pop in my earphones, I listen to Coldplay or some Spanish music, something to get me happy, you know, enjoying the workout. And the, the main issue with the whole David Goggins spiel is that it's like, you gotta hate yourself. You gotta push yourself to the point of wanting to kill yourself. You gotta, you gotta run until your legs don't work anymore and that's the only way you'll be great. No, that's actually not true at all. Um, listen, I am no stranger to self-improvement, believe it or not. Um, I've come a long way in the last two years. You know, I'm a 3.8 GPA honor student in college. I'm a power lifter. I'm a YouTuber. I work 20 hours a week at a fi fine dining restaurant. And I've read seven books in the last month. So the idea that I'm some, like, fat, unachieving person hating on him. Oh, I hate him because he's successful. Oh. No, I'm simply saying that's not a good uh, ideology for self-improvement. Self-improvement, I'm going to give you some, guys some great advice. So sit down, get the popcorn. This is, if there's anything I could ever say to inspire you guys, it's going to be this right here. Self-improvement is not pushing yourself to failure. It's not completely changing your life and becoming an absolute unit, pushing the boats. No, self-improvement is making slight improvements every single day, realistic improvements that you can sustain so each day you slowly become a better person that is what self-improvement is making very small changes each day until you eventually are a person you're proud of but david goggins here is saying oh you want to become good at running run 27 miles tomorrow i don't care if you can't walk crawl no, the general public is not going to take that advice, and the ones who do are never going to run again after that. That is not how you realistically improve your life. Get a little, Have a plan and get a little better each day. That's how you do it. And that is why I dislike David Goggins. That's all I'm saying. But these TikTokers, the meat munchers of David Goggins, are treating me like I'm some sort of villain saying you shouldn't work hard. Sure, work hard. Just be realistic about it. That's all I'm saying. So before I go, I want to read some of the comments from these uh, edits because a lot of the comments were not huge fans of what I had to say. So let's see. Orange Peanut has officially taken a L now. Yeah, I didn't expect him out of all people. What? You didn't expect me, the person who says controversial things, I speak my mind, to say something you don't agree with? That is the whole concept of this channel. I say what's on my mind, I say things that annoy me, and then people get mad at me. It's a wonderful cycle. So the if you didn't expect that, that's on you. That's what we do here. I yell about things, and sometimes people like it, sometimes people don't. I'm sorry if you don't like what I have to say. It's simply what's on my mind. If you want me to be a robot and say, David Goggins, good. He good. He run. He run fast. Good. They don't know me, son. If you want me to be a sheep, as they say, and just say the, the general opinions, you're going to have to go to like Nick is not green for something like that. But we uh, going on with the comments. Um, the things he done and achieved and there's guys that have achieved nothing close are sitting there complaining about him. You need to learn grammar. He literally edited the comment, too, which means it, he looked at it more than once. Um, I think what you're saying is that. Uh, David Goggins is great because he's achieved things and people who haven't achieved stuff are complaining about him. Uh, people are allowed to complain. People are allowed to voice their opinions. But uh, again, I'm not some fat dude living in my mom's basement, uh, like achieving nothing and then complaining. I got a pretty decent life of my own here. I'm just saying I disagree with the way he goes about things. But again, people don't care about that. They just say, oh, they don't like my idol. I hate him. Anyway, the only people that hate Goggins are those too lazy or insecure to learn to learn his full lore. So I, the reason I hate him is because I'm lazy and insecure and I didn't feel like researching every part of this dude's life. Me nor anyone else is obligated to research and learn everyone's full life. I don't know his full story. I don't care. I am saying the advice I've seen from him is goofy and not great. Um, I'm not saying that I know his full life and that he's a bad person. That's that's a huge misconception, but again, people aren't going to say that. Um, Goggins just took their souls. I think it's still here. I, I, I thought a puppy was cute the other day, so I think I still got my soul. Yeah, no, I, I don't get the whole taking your soul thing. He's literally just doing push-ups and running and like, what does that have to do with my soul? I don't know. Um, don't hate the motherfucker that works harder than you, David Goggins. I think Adolf worked harder than me, uh, but I'm still going to continue to hate him. That's a horrible quote. There are plenty of bad people that you should hate that work harder than you. Um, but uh, it's a bad quote. It's literally just a bad quote. Um, uh, you can hate people whether they work harder than you or not. And uh, again, I didn't even hate on David. I never said I hated him. I just 
people always take it to the extremes. It's either you hate someone or you love them. You know, there are in-betweeners where it's like, he's all right, but I don't agree with this. But no, I either love or hate him. I'm a hater, guys. Uh, and lastly, you don't know me, son. He was saying it to the haters and delusional people. Um, yeah, you don't know me, son. Why Why should random people know you? It's, it's fair. I mean, me talk. you guys don't know me, really. Like, nobody knows me. It's, it's a common thing that people don't know you. Why, why are you yelling that at me? Why does, he, why does he keep yelling it at me? I don't know. But what have we proved today? Um, David Goggins fans are a little, um, they're a little defensive. And listen, that's great for Dave. He's got the very, um, the very, um, the, the good writers of the meat shall we say. Um, but yeah, I, I stand by what I said. Sorry. I, I don't think his advice is great. And I think there's better ways to go about it. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I know nothing. Let me know in the comments. So with that being said, I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Thank you all for watching. Peace. Orange Peanut wants you to subscribe because he needs more money.